Hey guys, uh, I'm currently parked outside of the library. I was about to go in, but I re remember that I wanted to do like a little review of the books that I had previously checked out. Obviously, before, before returning them, I just wanted to um, talk to you guys about what I thought because I do want to get more, more books, but I wanted to just share with you guys these and my thoughts on them. Um, so, yeah, so it's art for the one that I did not even really try to finish, which was this realistic fiction book by Kasuo Ishiguro. It's called The Buried Giant. Um, yeah, I didn't really, I didn't even get to chapter two of this, and I just, I don't know, I didn't really feel like continuing it. He is one of my new favorite authors, but I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I just did not want to even get through with this one, so I just didn't even try. I don't know why, but I will continue to, you know, check out more of his books. I don't know. I did finish all completely. This is Whereabouts um, by Jhumpa Lahiri. I really love this author, another one of my favorite new authors. Um her writing is just so spectacular honestly she this is a story about this woman in her mid mid 40s i think and she's single she lives alone in the city i think it's in rome it probably takes place in rome or somewhere in italy i don't know but she talks about basically her very mundane life but it makes it feel not super over like over romanticized nor boring i think it's just the perfect middle balance of it all of being realistic with yourself when you're you know living alone not that i know much about that but i just i do spend a lot of time alone and it just it generally just felt like you were inside of her head with like you know li literally living all her thoughts and i really really enjoyed that because it just felt so easy to read but also very intimate and beautiful. Last one is the paper Meningir Menin I don't know how to say this word. I've tried so many times, I always just mess it up. But oh my gosh, seems like I have dirtied this somehow. I don't know what I even anyways, so sorry. I'm glad they have a cover on it. But yes, this book was also pretty good. Um I had been wanting to read this for a very long time. I there was there was some that I really liked. I think the beginning wasn't very interesting, but then you get two more, so the middle part and the ending, and it's very very good. Um, there was some stories in here that did make me tear up, that did make me cry. Some that I think will be stuck in my head for a very long time. I actually had to finish it as an audiobook because I just feel like it was just more interesting that way. <laughs>
see um today is august 12th monday august 12th um i have the afternoon off today from work so today i went to hobby lobby and i picked up some beads and just some other stuff that i wanted to use for crafts and i want to do like a little haul of the beads that i got i think on saturday we went to thrifting and i got a bunch of beads like vintage beads i guess i put them in this bag and these are my first little charms these are my first charms that i made from the clay that i bought i haven't updated you guys but i made a little strawberry I even glazed them with the UV light and resin, a ladybug, and two little stars with happy faces. And they make a good noise. I used to make little keychains. Amazing flower beads. This was also $3.49. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to make something with it, like little earrings, bracelets. I am so excited. And now I'm going to show you guys everything that I thrifted. We got these little looking. I also want to show you guys on Saturday, I think, I also went to Half Price Books and I recently discovered that they have like this whole wall full of like old paperbacks, but they're very, very cheap. And it's just like my absolute dream when it comes to book buying is just old vintage paperbacks. And I don't know why, but I've just been picking up the randomest books, just like not anything that I've ever heard of. Not any, I'm not looking for anything, just something that seems interesting to me. And lately I've been on a kick of just easygoing novels. Nothing crazy, just everyday things where I get to read about people's lives. Even if it sounds a bit boring, I don't know. But let me give you guys a haul if my camera permits. If it doesn't die before I finish telling you guys everything. So. So I have five books here um, and I, I think I'm going to try and do like a TikTok at some point for fall of like fall vibe-ish books because I have a bunch that I feel like are just, they just remind me of fall. So I'll show you guys that pile next time. Um, I have this one by Daphne Doom. I don't know how to say her last name, I'm not going to lie. It's Myself When Young the shaping of a writer she is, has become one of my favorite authors and i'm still not even done with rebecca but i'm slowly getting through it i'm just thoroughly thoroughly enjoying rebecca so so much it's amazing and so i knew i just wanted more of this author and look at this cover amazing i love it next i got moby dick by herman melville um, this was only $2.99, which is more than what the original price is, but I don't care. I really like this cover, this copy of it. It's awesome. I can't wait to take like little aesthetic little photos of me in a coffee shop reading this because I know I'm going to probably get to this this year. I already have a copy. I think I shared it with you guys like a bunch of, a long time ago, but it's a very, very big copy. So I'll probably like go back and forth just because, <laughs> but yes, we have this one. Then I bought this one, Stagford, a novel by John Hassler. I've never heard of this man, I never heard of this novel, but it's about a 35 year old bachelor who teaches in a high school in a small town in Minnesota. Um, he, pl he lodges placidly with a spinster who has taught for 41 years in a Catholic grade school. It doesn't sound very compelling, but if you miss it, you'll be missing one of the years truly freshly conceived and carried out novels. When who's not always so gentle ironies address themselves to a broader range of life than is to be found in Stagford. um so Stagford, minnesota um i just i feel like i'm gonna very much enjoy this because i feel like it's going to be very easy not easy in the sense like it's an easy book to read but just calm 
and kind of boring but i'm just like looking forward to that. like that's what i'm in the mood for recently i don't know why so i'm just going with it you know then i found dandelion wine by ray bradbury this cover is just amazing and then the thing that it says here the summer of 28 that was a vintage summer for a growing boy a summer of green apple trees mowed lawns and new sneakers burnt firecrackers of gathering dandelions of grandma's belly bursting din dinner it was a summer of sorrows and marvels and gold fuzz bees a magical summer in the life of a 12 year old boy named douglas spaulding like um yes i want a vintage summer i want all of that that's what i want for myself so if i have somebody whose life i can live through that then i'll take it this was 3.99 I found O oh Pioneers by Willa Cather. Um, another vintagey summer vibe. On the windy Nebraska prairie, Alexandra Bergson tends to the fa fa da -da -da. tends to the failing farm that she inherited from her father. She struggles to raise her brothers and her own on her own and she is torn by the emergence of an ex unexpected passion. This magnificent story Willa Cather Cather's second novel has become one of the greatest great classics of American literature, telling a timeless tale of a strong pioneer woman facing extraordinary challenges and conflicts, shining a light on the immigrant experience, and with its simple, beautiful prose, revealing the emergence vo emerging voice of one of our greatest authors. So, two forty nine for this book, pretty good, and it's a very good size. So I feel like we could get through this pretty fast. And OMG, was that all of them? I suppose so. I thought there was more, but yeah.